Did you know that if you put an egg in a cup of water, it will sink to the bottom? But if you add enough salt, the egg will float back up to the surface. Why does that happen? Well, first, why does the egg sink? Since the egg is more dense than the water, the egg will sink. But if enough salt is added to the water, then the water's density will be higher than the egg's density. So the egg will then float because it's less dense than the salt water. I'm doing an experiment to learn how much salt needs to be added to the water to make an egg float. Here goes. So I'm going to make a salt solution to test how much salt is needed to make an egg float. So I'm gonna pour one cup of salt to five cups of water. I'm using only this stock salt solution in my first jar. Then I'm making a cereal dilution from it by adding some of this stock to water and diluting it for each of my next three jars. My fifth and final jar is just plain water. I have five eggs, each labeled one through five. I'll put them all in each of the jars to see whether they start to float. I'll be able to narrow down just how much salt was needed to make the egg float. I kept careful notes about how much salt was in each jar and whether each egg floated or not. They floated between 50 and 75% dilution of our stock. Then I created a second cereal dilution of the 75% jar that floated the eggs. I learned that the eggs needed 56.3% of my original stock solution to float. This percentage will change depending on the eggs you use, whether they are cold or warm, big or small, fresh or old, or cooked. And if they are run, they will definitely float, even in plain water. Yuck!